So I've been reading um, Psalm 10, 14. Um, so it's, but you do see and you take notice of trouble and suffering and are always ready to help. The helpless commit themselves to you. You have always helped the needy. So what I've got from this verse is um, God, he offers safety and help to those who can't help themselves, like the helpless. Um, so he's basically the parent of all orphans because um, the fatherless. And um, the way I see this is God's love is like a caring parent. And like, this is clear as God, he basically invites us um, to call out to him uh, when we have troubles, the trouble of the afflicted. Um, to cast all our worries onto him and to turn to him when grieving. Um, so there were different translations, so it might say different things, but um, I looked up different ones and I came across um, the Christian Standard Bible Translation and the Common English Bible Translation. So the Christian Standard Bible Translation said, but you yourself have seen trouble and grief, observing it in order to take the matter into your hands. The helpless one entrusts himself to you. You are a helper of the fatherless. And the Common English Bible Translation said, but you do see, you do see troublemaking and grief, and you do something about it. They're helpless, leave it all to you. You are the orphan's helper. So these translations, um, they helped to make it clearer to me, because I didn't really understand it at first, so I looked up um, different translations. Um, and a lot of them included the phrases orphan's helper and helpless. So I thought that highlighted um, how people in trouble, or the helpless, um, look to God for help and they basically abandoned themselves in um, God's hands. Um, and from personal experiences, um, I know that when I find myself in a difficult situation in life, like to do with school, stress, anything, um, I turn to God for help and I pray to him. But I feel like, because I turned, a lot of the time I turn to him last, so I feel like I should um, go to him first, like before anything, because he's our father and um, we should trust in him. Today's scripture reading is taken from Psalm 68, verse 5 and 6. This is entitled, God the Father. So verse 5 says, Father to the fatherless, defender of widows, this is God whose dwelling is holy. This means to me that these are some of the good things that God does. He always defends us at any time and anywhere. You should never doubt God in any circumstance. God is the joy of us as his people and lets us rejoice when we come before him. Verse 6 says, God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free and gives them joy. But he makes the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. This means that he cares for the afflicted and oppressed, repented sinners who are helpless and exposed more than any fatherless children are admitted into his family and we share all the blessings. So over the past week I've been looking at um, Psalm 10 verse 18 and it says you will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed so that people can no longer terrify them. So this verse basically um, it states that God acts like a father to the fatherless by caring for them, providing them, protecting them and it also talks about bringing justice to the injustice, so like the oppressed so that's like ethnic minorities and again, like orphans, maybe the working class, just the less fortunate. Um, I decided to read the whole chapter, so the whole of, of um, chapter 10, and it talks about how evildoers are too proud to like, um, face their sins and turn to God. Um, and they also seem that God's not watching what they do. And those are the people that the orphans and the oppressed are fearful of. So, by God protecting them and acting like a father to them, um, it kind of makes sure that they're not fearful, they're not scared of um, the evil doers anymore. Um, despite me reading the whole chapter, um, Psalm 10 verse 18 uh, really resonates with me because as like a as a black female, um, I feel like my kind is oppressed as well, like black people and uh, women in general. Um, but even at like rough times, like you know, stuff with the whole uh, police brutality thing and all of the um, process with Black Lives Matter and just like just women being oppressed in general in everyday life. Um, I like to think, I like to remember that God made all of us in His image and He treats us all the same, no matter where we come from, what gender we are. 
um, what race we are, what, like the colour of our skin, and it's just, it makes me happy knowing that he still protects anyone, because everyone was made by God.